Welcome back, Arizona. We are in the garden with the garden guy. We are. Hey, happy Veterans Day Thank to you. you very much. And speaking of veterans, I want to show a picture. This is my father. Uh, he has since passed, but he spent, uh, well, 28 years in the Marine Corps. Wow. World War II at 17 years old. Then China, which is a real unusual deployment, spent a little bit of time over there right after World War II. And then, of course, three tours in Vietnam. Oh so goodness. 28 years. Hey, Semper Fi. Yes. And, of course, happy birthday to the Marine Corps from yesterday. Mm -hmm. And happy Veterans Day. Yeah. And we appreciate his service. Oh, to our do I ever. Country. And he was a great yeah. father, too, all oh, at the same good. time. I want to show you one thing that we've got going on here. And this is one of his favorite vegetables to grow in the garden. What is it? Broccoli rapini. Oh. You ever heard of it before? No. It is a basically a leafy vegetable. Are it we still works eating it? Out, well, we're not going to eat the seed, okay. of course. But we can go ahead and plant them right now, okay. and they work out real well. As you can, plant a lot of other type of leafy type vegetables this time of year. And I want to show you some more. We're always mm -hmm. talking about planting this time of year, but let's show us some of the other ones that are out right over here. And you can see there's some Chinese cabbage over mm -hmm. here, some kale, lettuce, cilantro. Now cilantro is one of those secession type vegetables. So what we do, we just take the seeds of the cilantro, we spread them out, and in about a month or two, spread some more out. And then come oh. about March or April, we kind of, well, kind of wrap it up because it starts getting a little bit warm. But that's what we call a what we call a secession type of vegetables. Of course, you want to start thinking about reducing the amount of water or the basically not the water, but the frequency of the water. Oh. So what you're doing is you're watering about every two weeks right now, three foot deep on all your plant material, wow. especially those trees. So what I do, I take a piece of rebar just like this. If I can push it in the ground, approximately two to three feet in the ground, and there we go right there, that's pretty easy to do. We know we've watered deep enough around all our plant material, especially our trees. On our plants, about two foot deep. On our lawns, about about six inches or so. And of course, on our shrubs, about a foot to two feet. And so then we don't water so for about important? two to three weeks. What's that? Why is that so important at this, this time? This is real important because you want to push those salts down deep into the soil. You're getting that root system down deep in the soil. And we're letting it dry out. We're kind of let the soil breathe in and out during the time you're doing it. So. Some other things you want to be planting, of course, a lot of your flowers out there, and of course, a lot of your root vegetables, your carrots, mm. your different onions, your radishes, your turnips, and we talked about our flowers earlier, your cosmos, your nasturtium, your alyssum, and of course, your larkspur all work out and work out well this time of year. Last but not least, bulbs. Ooh. This is one of my favorite. I want to show it off. It's called a freesia. Mm -hmm. Lasts from year to year. Great bulb for out here in the desert southwest, and it does very well down here in our lower type of desert. So get all this stuff in, get it in right now. Remember deep water, reduce the frequency, but continue to water the length that you have. Sometimes your drip system is required to be on for anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to be able to get that deep penetration. But after that, you're on your way towards okay. a great winter garden. Do you have a winter garden? Right here. You do? You're oh, looking this is at our it. Winter. Do you yeah, have we got here? No, well, there's no some food. carrots growing back there. There's some cabbage growing <laughs> back yet. there. There's mustard greens growing right. back there. We're putting okay. in some artichokes in right now. Oh, so uh, well, it is going to be a great, what we call springtime garden, and of course a winter garden all at the same time. Okay.